I will straight up quit. I don't know how to do a and d podcast. No. I mean, it's... I like this. I like this show too, how but... About, how about you quit school <laughs> to do a and d podcast? Now, don't tempt me, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're here on this podcast while it's all on, and we're trying to not do a and d podcast, and I'm still in school. So we're here to answer some questions, right? Yes. So I've got a few of them here today, and I figured I would let you choose from three of them that Uh we're absolutely going to answer, all right? Okay. And you tell me where we start, and then I'll just go from there. Okay. So we're dealing with uh, some neighborly issues. Uh, We're dealing with anxiety, and we're dealing with some possible foot fetishes. Ooh. Um, let's start off with something I know best, and that's going to be anxiety. Uh, I thought you were going to say foot fetish. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so this one is short and sweet, and it just says, I have anxiety, and I am constantly tormented and haunted by cringy and embarrassing memories. What is the best way to cope? From Amply Angst in Alabama. Best way to cope? Yeah. Duck out of there, man. Duck just, out of there. Just the, get away. He's, he's just, what did he say? He's, he's, in, he's tormented and embarrassed by cringy memories. I mean, <laughs> like, like. How you duck out of your memories? <laughs> You're just like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to turn that bad boy right? off. Right, just yeet that shit out. It's like Do when, that whole SpongeBob thing where you just like burn it all, burn it all. <laughs> just breathing and fine dining. <laughs> exactly. But like that's that, that's the equivalent of um having anxiety or depression or whatever. And someone comes up to you and is like, what if you just like stopped? Yeah, just don't. Have, just forget about have it. Have you tried not doing that? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh, wait a minute. I'm cured. <laughs> I I no longer am sad all the time. It's so amazing. I just have no worries or thoughts of my own. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just a a mindless cog in the machine. Of course I want to go to work at Burger King. (laughs) Yes, I know it's a second-rate McDonald's. Yes, I know their chicken nuggets aren't as good, but they're $1.29 for 10, so I'm gonna get them. (laughs) And that's seeping a little bit too much of me. This got real personal, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I mean... Dealing when I how I deal with my tormenting memories is usually I just put on a YouTube video <laughs> while I'm trying to sleep, so my brain fixates on something else. Do you uh, often lie awake at night? Oh, is, all that, the time. is that a problem? No, it, it yeah, <laughs> a lot. Um, so I can fall asleep generally pretty easily, but it's like right before I start to like actually dip into sleep, mm-hmm. and like usually one of the first things I do in the morning is like I usually have a dream that is a memory of me doing something stupid. And this has happened multiple times where it's like I'm watching that memory and what wakes me up is my body just having such a reaction, like a guttural, just, I don't like this, This that I wake up and I'm just like, (laughs) fuck. (laughs) But yeah, your body hates you. Oh yeah. No, my brain does all sorts of, we, we've talked about my dreams before. Oh yeah. And (laughs) you're always like, damn, like that's you okay. (laughs) Like like I had a dream where a puppy licked an ice cream cone and you're over here like my mother ate my sister. And I'm just like, (laughs) Oh no. (laughs) Yeah. I'll have like some really deep shit. Like, Oh uh, yeah. My like worst fears were realized in this moment. It wasn't like a scary dream. It was just the the fact that it could have been real. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Like I'm the Garfield comic and you're like the Garfield evil meme. I'm like the, I'm like the Garfield uh, without Garfield. Have you seen those comics? Oh, where he's just like alone and depressed. Yeah, it's yeah. just John. And like, the, so they, mm-hmm. for those of you who don't know, I think it's like actually the website is like garfield.garfield.org or something. Mm-hmm. But uh, so it's all of the comics. I think it's all of them. It's a shit ton of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's just John talking like all of his parts but garfield's not there and garfield's words aren't there and odie's not there and they just look super sad and depressed like he's gonna like die well because if you think about it like in the canon of the comics uh john is just speaking into air and garfield is thinking his negative thoughts back at him and so in reality this is what john is experiencing (laughs) is being like yeah i met a girl today she probably wasn't for me (laughs) <laughs> that's the end of the comic oh no oh my, what the fuck john i love you hold on i want to find one okay um it's a three panel comic just classic mm-hmm. newspaper stuff uh but the first two are just john staring into the distance and then the very last one is the lost your will to live phase is all he says oh <laughs> um so he's just standing there alone mm-hmm. presumably for minutes yep. staring at nothing and then just goes the lost your will to live phase. Yep. Why is that too relatable? Yeah. I, and then, I, okay, here's another one. Once again, there's two empty panels. It's one in the beginning and the last one are empty. And the middle one is him saying, I think the guy across the street is a zombie. <laughs> like, these are like, it's like. Is John schizophrenic? Is he yeah. like hearing? Is he seeing Garfield's thoughts? And that's like what we're going yeah. through. And this one just says, I bit my tongue today and the rest of the panels are empty. <laughs> 
Uh, this one says, do my elbows match? Do you think there's ever a world where those are the comics that got made and popular? Like, Oh, absolutely. I, I would hope so. Like, yeah. I want these to be the comics that got like a, a cult following. Mm -hmm. By the way, the, the web address is Garfield minus Garfield dot net. Oh my God. Okay, so this one's super relatable. This is what I want to end on. Uh, it's John sitting with a cup of coffee. Uh, the first panel says, let's do nothing today. And the last two comics are him just staring into the distance. <laughs> or the last two panels. It's so sad. His life is fucking horrible. Yeah, he made a decision to do nothing today. But we all know it wasn't a decision. It oh. was going to happen either way. <laughs> you know that he like has a job that he hates. And he's like he's living for the weekends. But mm -hmm. he doesn't have any friends. So he's just not even living on the weekend. Uh, yeah. He's like, man, I'm so excited to not be at work. And then he just... Then he's at home laundry. and he's like, maybe I should just be at work. At least then I'd have money. Yeah. Oh, oh, God, that hurts. Like, right in the feels. Just kind of like how our person here is feeling, tormented by the fact that maybe they don't have friends or they said something stupid or whatever. This makes me, like, want to call my mom and be yeah. like, hey, I love you. I, I know I don't say it <laughs> enough. Uh, Logan, you still kind of suck ass, but, like, <laughs> <laughs> I should I, at least say hi, you know? I think Logan's cool. He, he's, he's cool, but he's too fucking cool. Oh, like, that, is, that is definitely an issue. It's intimidating. Like, I think Logan's cool, but I could never actually, like, sit and talk to him because I'd be too intimidated. By I walk the in the room with him better. and I, like, cross my arms and hunch my shoulders and I'm like, Hey, like, like how's you're, it going? Uh, is he? Oh yeah, cool. Okay. <laughs> is Logan? How tall is Logan? He's six two. He's six two. And so I'm you're a full four. two inches than, uh -huh. like taller than him. But like when you guys are in the same room, you're closer to the same height or shorter than him, <laughs> just because you're like you're, I'm you're, so small. Yeah, and he's like such like a jacked like sexy dude that you're just like wow. I just okay. Uh, I'm just I just be small. I just need to hide. And, like, like I'm six foot, but your brother makes me feel five eight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he just tears two inches off of everyone. Yeah, I'm like oh my gosh, but two inches. Hold on. <laughs> I'm doing math. I'm no good at oh, math. Oh, no. There's 12 in a foot. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Got him. So what would you tell this guy? Just like one final bow on a, on his problem. It's It really is like you just got to get over it. Mm -hmm. And someone's saying it's not going to be enough. But like one day you'll just like have that come to you. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be like, wow, I was stupid for holding on to that. But some things just take time. And then mm -hmm. once you realize that they don't need it anymore, they're gone. And it's kind of nice. There you go. I think that's probably as good as a, a thing as any. Uh, it'll it heals with time usually, yeah. and like a positive. There's attitude. nothing we can do, so you're just gonna have to soil yeah. in it. Sucks to suck. I mean, the other option is like confront. Like if there's another person involved, just like confront them and be like, "Hey, I need closure." Mm -hmm. But then there's like that one saying, that's super popular. It's like closure is the one thing that only you can do for yourself. No one can do <laughs> it for you. And I'm like, I don't know. I get a lot of closure from like talking to an ex and being like, "Hey." I know we broke up seven years ago, <laughs> but seven years ago, we broke up, you know, forever ago. Uh, but, you know, I'm sorry. I was shitty. And her being like, yeah, you were shitty and letting it out. And then now we're chill. And I'm like, oh, OK, I feel better. It's now. better. Yeah. <laughs> um, so next up, we've got a question that says, um, I never cut down the hedge between our houses. My wife got home from work today and half of the eight foot privacy hedge between my house and my neighbor's house had been cut down. They never consulted us or even mentioned that they were planning to take it down. And we just talked to them yesterday. Now, there's just a little four-foot chain-link fence between us and no privacy. I'm upset but also a little bit flabbergasted. We are fairly new homeowners and don't know the protocol for this. How upset should I be and where should I go from here from not-so-neighborly in Nebraska? Fair enough. Sucks to suck. Yeah. Like so you, your neighbor just did something shitty. What do you do? I hide in my room because I don't want to socialize. <laughs> All right. What's the next step after that? Play video games so that it gets my mind off of not wanting to socialize. All right. So now you've, you're out of food in the house. Oh, it's Monday. Shit. You oh, have no. to go back to work. You walk outside. You see that fucking head. He's there. What do you do? Dinkleberg. He's there. Dinkleberg. <laughs> <laughs> Noah was an average kid. No one understands. So, the so there's, there's, there's a really real answer right now. Okay. And it, it's whose fucking property is the hedge on. Because mm -hmm. if it's on his property, you have no say. Hippity hoppity, get off my fucking property, bro. That's it. And he said that to the hedge. He just yeeted that right out of there. <laughs> he was just like, ah, I don't like you anymore. He probably like said something about his wife. The hedge mm -hmm. said something about the guy's wife. And oh, okay. He's like, ah, I got a chainsaw. Yeah. The, the, the hedge was sitting there. It's like, oh, 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 your wife is a whore. <laughs> she gets naked in the shower. What a slut. And it's like, wow. I didn't realize it was a French, like, <laughs> French Maybe that's why he's upset. He's like, ah, this is discrimination. He took, he attacked our French hedge. That's what it is. He's, he's looking at it. And the, the 
the hedge is just like wow 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 French, <laughs> <laughs> and then he just, he's like no more, and then I just picture like the the black and white like noir, like you just see like the shadow of him going <laughs> with, the, with the chainsaw, it's like the the leaves fly everywhere in the night, and he did it just in spite of you, and don't you fucking forget it. Now what you need to do is go out in your yard, get a grindstone. And I need you to start sharpening swords or machetes or knives just in the front yard. Just <laughs> not doing anything. Just front yard staring straight at his house. <laughs> that is the most power move I can. That's imagine. all you can do. Yeah, you know. You can't contact the, the city and get an ordinance out to see where your property line ends. You can't. That's like, that's no. stupid. Why that's would a waste you do that? of time. You know this bureaucracy. <laughs> yeah, you know it's just a bunch of paperwork and red tape. You're never and you know what through. beats paper? Sword. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hedge beats neighbor, but sword also beats property line. <laughs> so I think if you just work it out and you like you sharpen your swords while looking at him enough, like he's not gonna trim the hedge again, so it's just gonna grow back up. And now you are in a 30-year mortgage, so you know that it is eventually going to get tall enough <laughs> that it will once again be a privacy fence. There <laughs> privacy you go. Hedge. So there is your answer, good sir from not so neighborly in Nebraska. Ooh. Up next, we have someone with a little bit more of uh, an adult issue. So if you have little baby ears, maybe you should uh, move forward. Maybe you shouldn't have started this podcast. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't be with. listening to, I don't know, though. You can listen to Noah Ass. It's slightly better. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. Um, this one is titled simply, what the fuck do I do? So someone asked to be my slave. And I said, yes. What the fuck is a mistress? Is it like dating? Because if yes, that's not what I want. If it's purely to get off, then I mean, I guess. But anyways, the context is it started on an Instagram page for foot fetishes. Gross, I know. Because I'm broke as hell and need to sell pictures. But within minutes of posting someone asked to be my slave, I have no fucking idea what to do now. I said yes because there's a chance they'll buy. So... And that is from Consensually Footsie in Connecticut. See, so you got to scour the market to make sure you're getting a fair price for everything you're doing. Okay. Yeah, you can't just like go in blind, you know. That's so. true. I mean, because then you end up like, uh, so I, I bought a I bought a camera today uh -huh. uh, and three lenses for like 25 bucks. And while it is an SLR, like an old, like single lens reciprocal, reflex, well, okay, it's an, <laughs> it's an old analog camera. But I looked it up, and it's in good enough condition. You could buy just the camera on its own for like $130. Ooh. So I was like, hey. You stole it. I did. And I got a bunch of lenses. So <laughs> whatever. So that guy, he didn't look at the market first. Right. He didn't realize there's like a demand for these kinds of things out there. And now you have a cheap camera to sell expensive feet pics. Exactly. <laughs> what you got to do is scour the market. Look for a cheap camera and sell even better feet pics. And you need to hide them behind a private Snapchat paywall. See, the thing is, you don't get them to pay for the content. You get them to pay for the subscription method. So that way, they're still paying for the content, even if they don't use it. Precisely. <laughs> that is just brilliant. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, how are we not millionaires? Business moguls. So here's what, here's what else you got to do. So you got to get... This guy to get it on. And if he donates $5 and you donate $5 and he gets three friends to also donate $5 and you get three friends to donate $5 and then it just gets higher and higher and the level gets gets <laughs> bigger and bigger until like the one person that sounds gets flawless. the most. It's Can I get brilliant. on the bottom level of this? It's, I want to be at the ground floor. It's multi-level marketing, my yes. friend. <laughs> sounds beautiful. Is there like a shape for that that we can just like simple it down to? Oh yeah, it's uh, it's it's half of a like, square. Like a triangle? No, it's half a square. Oh, okay. It's half a diagonal, a square. half a square. Okay. So like half a square well, is like sorry, a rectangle. Like, yeah, yeah. Half kind. a cube is a rectangle. Well, no, no. You go diagonal with it. Oh, okay. So, so. like, uh, so like cutting grilled cheese. So, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. So like, what what's that thing in like Mexico? Ah, tacos. Taco. Oh yeah, like a pointy taco shell. Exactly. Oh. I, like yeah, a sombrero. Kinda, I mean, you yeah, can go you know like where that. it gets like pointy in the middle. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's flat at the bottom. Yeah, you know. But so a sombrero yeah. scheme. That seems about right. No, it's a sombrero plan. Is more sombrero like plan. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> So a slave, <laughs> just to get back on topic here. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't know if I'm comfortable with uh, this. Is a BDSM thing where uh, basically you as the mistress would have complete control over their pleasure in whatever way that they want. So so the mistress is les dom, mm -hmm. the dominant. 
Yeah. And the slave is the sub or the submissive. Exactly. Ooh. Now, no, you have a lot of experience with this from what I understand, which is why I chose this question. Thank you. So, <laughs> what exactly do you want to know about this uh, BDSM? So, I need to know uh, at least, like, three different kinds of, um, say... Uh, fetishes or kinks that fetishes. people could be into. Okay, so there's fin dom, which is financial domination. Oh, I thought that was like fish domination. No, 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 no. Like there is something, but it's actually just like called fish dom. Oh, okay. Because it gets confusing with the fin dom. Gotcha. So, yeah, so fin dom is financial, and that's mm -hmm. like where you like give people money and like tell them to spend it if you don't do something uh -huh. like that. So it's all like messing with finance, which is kind okay. of terrifying to me. Like I don't have a whole lot of money as it is. So. <laughs> yeah, like you could easily fin dom me. All you have to do is like. Get an extra large at like Wendy's uh -huh. instead of like a medium, <laughs> and I'd be like, "Oh, oh, oh God, I can't do oh. it." I, ah! Except for I wouldn't be gaining pleasure. I'd be very, I very openly weeping. And I, and I, I wasn't gonna drink the medium anyways. So then, like now, the extra large is so much more waste. Yeah, a Wendy's medium that's so going big. into our ocean. Like, oh my gosh! And that makes me even sadder. How am I supposed to get hard when I know turtles are dying? Exactly. We're getting. It's it's bad. <laughs> straws don't get get reusable straw. You can get them exactly. collapsible now. Bam. S straws are saving the world. Is there a straw fetish? <laughs> <laughs> there should be. I bet there is. Actually, there is one, but it's we probably shouldn't get into it. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's gone. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's it's called sounding. You shouldn't look it up, but if you're curious, that's what it is. Uh, okay, what's the next one? So can I look that up real quick? I, uh, sure, the other go one. for it, Noah. Uh, <laughs> look up sounding. I don't want to know. I would love to get your live reaction <laughs> to sounding on audio. I don't know if my audio would be good. You might want to like a camera on my face, though. Oh, maybe another time, then. Uh, what is there's There's baby, which is like treating you like a, like a little... The little puny little scrub you are in this I don't, universe. I don't like that one. No, that okay. Makes me, like I already feel small and insignificant. You, you put some like diapers on and like feed them and whatever. Ugh. Talk to them like a I baby. Never had baby food. That shit's gross. Yeah, one time food. I was working at a grocery store and it was like all out of date, so we we're gonna throw it away. And then mm -hmm. I was like, peaches. Like how different is peach baby food? So I tried it and it was like the toddler ones. So there's chunks mm -hmm. in. It was just purified peaches, really. Ugh. Yeah. All right, okay, yeah. well, give me one more at least. One more, one more. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like where you like be really mean to them. And then they're okay. like, ah, I like this for some reason. Yeah, be it like, a, like a... You tell them like, you're not enough. Your parents never loved you. And they're like, ah, you're right, I'm but like, I'm ooh. also hard. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, Noah, easy there, bud. Oh, I, I was just like really getting into it. <laughs> I like, know, yeah. Okay. I, I'm just going to hold some places you were, down. You were... Uh, what? <laughs> Whatever that one's called to yourself. <laughs> just looking in the mirror, being like, you were never enough. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Just like that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's what a mistress does. Yes. And so, no, it's not like dating. You're not, you are not. <laughs> what kind of dating are you doing? <laughs> the wrong kind, apparently. Yeah, I'm like, no, it's not like dating. No, it's like, that's the only dating I know. <laughs> like, I've only dated one person, and like, that's all we do. <laughs> that's it. We do that every time. <laughs> um, so, I mean, you could make money off of this. I know plenty of like people that do like i don't personally know but i know that people do this thing pretty often oust them people yeah <laughs> all right so there's uh jerry there's jerry. mary there's gary well, man, there's you're larry going some specifics here <laughs> oh that's that's their, that's our first and last names by the way it's jerry mary gary larry oh uh, okay and then fred no, that's it. He doesn't have a last name. He doesn't have a last name? No. Nah. Whoa. He's uh, he's son of none. So mysterious. Yeah, I know, right? I'm in love already. Yeah, you, you'd think he's mysterious if it? you saw him. Oh. Uh, like, he's he's all latex, he's zipper just, mouth. He's straight gray. <laughs> <laughs> straight gray. And uh, nipples nipples straight up out. Assless chaps. Nice. Pretty cool guy, the actually. two places I want less. <laughs> <laughs> my ass and my nipples. Nipples Those are the only things assless. I carry. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the opposite of, like, running. You put stuff on your nipples and extra stuff on your ass when you run. Well, I guess not the extra stuff on your ass. Well, you could if you want to put it's on like a like diaper. Putting like a little like pasty on your butt cheek, like, yeah, to make sure you don't bleed. Yeah, <laughs> don't bleed. I don't want to bleed out my cheeks. <laughs> um, so do it. That's what I say. Like, go go get your coins, sis. Like we like I know what it's like to be in a like tough financial place for sure. And if I was hot enough to sell my body, you know I would. For Sorry, sure. mom. Like, yeah. <laughs> turn off the podcast. You don't listen. It's okay. <laughs> she doesn't listen. She did tell me one time, she's like, I don't ever want you to strip. I'm like, you don't have to worry about <laughs> I am not confident in my body as it is. And then she was like, well, you haven't seen some of the people who, who do strip at... And, and you're like, places. wait, I can make a profit? Like, wait, are you telling me that I'm hot compared to these dudes? Wait, yeah. No, really? let me in. Hold on. Mom, wait. are you going to pay to watch me strip? 
Is that what you're telling me? That's how good of a mom I have. Like she's she comes to all my events. She's and she so uncomfortable, but she's like, ah, she's, honey. She's like, good job, honey. She's throwing like, out the money. She's making it rain, making it hail, yeah. throwing change. She's like, I don't have anything left. <laughs> <laughs> oh poor mom oh i'm sorry mom uh but yeah but this lady she needs to know that there are boundaries mm-hmm. that she can set so like she can get in on this train and then she can mm-hmm. bail at any point like oh yeah set your lines you don't like like very clear lines like not uh, even in the sand like in the cement just yeah no no build some lines build a wall you know mm-hmm. i've heard a great man talk about building a wall sometimes and i i think you should really live by those words i am talking about genghis khan no he tore down the walls <laughs> i'm talking about the Chang Dynasty. <laughs> that one? I was trying to remember which I dynasty. I don't know which it. dynasty it was. <laughs> it was, a, it was an old Chinese proverb it was, <laughs> that says, build that wall. <laughs> MAGA. And there's this beautiful <laughs> man across that wall who's like, I'm not paying for your fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> and then, what was it, like a hundred years of people paid for that wall? Anyways, moving on. Uh, just uh, so we can pay for our four walls around us, we're going to go to an ad break and hear about our lovely sponsor. Whoa. <laughs> and we're back. Hey, everybody. Thank you for listening to our ad. Now, Noah, do you have anything that you learned this week? This is a new segment. Uh, and working title is This Week We Learned. I was thinking about doing like a play on like the iCarly because we've brought up iCarly multiple times on this channel. Mm. So clearly we're both huge fans. Of course. Um, I know. You see. That's going to change me. See, and be so wonderful. Perfect um, fans. Yeah, we knew every word. So I was going to do a thing on like, what's Joey thinking about? But that's trademarked. Is it? I don't know if it is. I've had Disney or it's Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon's Nickelodeon is cool. Yeah. There's so many memes of that out there. You don't think we could put the the, the same kind of tune in a jingle with my name and be like, ah, oh, it's transformative. <laughs> if somebody can make you're that. such a bad singer that it's like automatically transformative, even oh, if you're trying your best. What about that? I took two years of voice. Ah, but then you haven't done them for five years. So. Ah, I haven't done them for a year. <laughs> Give me an A right now. Uh, oh no. Oh no! That, that was I have real perfect bad. pitch. <laughs> perfect pitch. I have I have adequate pitch. <laughs> I have I have, mm-hmm. I have semitone. I have semi okay pitch. I have adjacent okay. pitch. <laughs> adjacent pitch. I like that. Everything I sing is dissonant. <laughs> it's all. It's dissonant. beautiful. <laughs> it's all so perfect. Eric Whitaker would fucking nut to my voice, dude. Um. Okay. So yeah, this week we learned. Blank. Noah, do you have something that you learned this week that was like kind of important? It doesn't have to be funny. It's just something. This is an advice show. It's advice from your life. This is this is real important to me. I've been cooking eggs too hot. I've uh-huh. been frying eggs at a solid six okay. on my little stove. Yeah, definitely needs to be done at a four. Whoa. So, the more you know, everyone, the six makes it burn too fast on the bottom, and then the yolk gets hard, and it usually makes it so it sticks at the bottom, and it's not as easy to come off even on our Teflon pan. Uh huh. So. A four is where you need to cook them at. It cooks slower, more evenly, and it just makes for an all-around better egg. Wow. I didn't even know that. Yeah. I cook my eggs at a five. Yeah, no, I, you should really you should really reconsider just that. Take it down one? Yeah. Huh. Well, there we go. The more you know. Wait, that's fucking copyrighted, too. Uh, the more you know. I learned something. Uh, this week, I learned. I touched on it a little bit earlier, so it's kind of like a half. Cheater. I, I know. I learned that vintage lenses are so much cheaper than the lenses of the now Ooh. so uh and, and they give you a lot of like really interesting results there's this one lens called the helios 44-2 that's a soviet Boring. russian lens no this is what i learned this week noah <laughs> don't talk about what you love <laughs> it's what i love why can't i learn about what i love <laughs> fine uh this week i learned uh that the boys is an okay amazon prime show amazon doesn't sponsor us Amazon is not paying me to say this. But if you pay us, we'll give you above an okay. But if we, yeah, <laughs> if you if you pay us, you'll get above like a four star rating. Yeah, <laughs> um, uh, ten stars. I don't know who does ten <laughs> stars, but I meant to say like. Anyways, the boys, pretty cool. We've been watching it after we cook dinner, and it's it it it's takes up time. Nice. It's good. There's a there's a beautiful little Steven Universe quote that if if every pig was a pork chop, you wouldn't have any hot dogs. And it was just oh, kind of a cute little quote. That is really beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful in like the, the sense that we're killing animals. We're yeah, supposed to be trying to go vegan, yeah. Noah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I haven't yet. condoned the abuse. Yeah. But no, I did that. That's really cute. If every pig was a pork chop. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So the boys uh, premise, uh, because the, the title doesn't tell you shit about it, <laughs> is uh, superheroes are a common occurrence 
and they are like corrupt politicians essentially uh-huh. and like very like two-faced assholes it's pretty yeah cool. it just like treats superheroes as if they're like sports athletes with like sponsorships and things like that yeah. and like press deals and you know contracts mm-hmm. and things like that um there's a whole side of it that's like just that kind of stuff too like they, they're just like oh this is your this is your brand protect your brand and mm-hmm. like um they they do that like horrible two face shit. It reminds me of like uh, the music industry a lot or film in general as well, where uh, there's like this is a partnership, and she's like yeah, so I get to decide what goes on my body because she's like talking about her outfit, uh-huh. and they're like yeah, but you don't get paid or whatever if you don't put that on your body, and then so yeah, it's just this whole thing. And it's like ah oh, god, that's fucking horrible. But yeah, that's the that's the boys, and it's uh pretty good color grading a little bit eh. there's some parts of it that i'm like wow this looks like a like 2001 like you wouldn't steal a car or you wouldn't download a car or whatever uh that's anyways so that's that's this week we learned and maybe we'll do something like this on every episode maybe we'll do it like every other episode um because you learn something once a week i mean i try and learn something once a day it's just i never remember what i learned so i mean <laughs> whose fair. problem is that really <laughs> uh, next week i'm gonna come out with you like oh i learned my coworker's name that i've been putting off for the past three weeks oh it could be anything and it's so relieving as yeah. long as we can riff off of it and okay. you have a story nice and as long as you tell that person to listen to the podcast because you're like hey we talked about you and they're like <laughs> what What's my name? <laughs> I'm like, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we have time for at least one more question. Okay. Uh, let's do this one. I just started my new job and I need time off. So I started a new part-time job and was led to believe by the guy that hired me that it would be flexible. However, when I spoke to HR yesterday, I got a really different impression. Flexibility is the most important thing to me in a job right now because my boyfriend lives overseas. I go to visit him a couple times a year and I'd prefer not to fight over PTO every time I want to see him. How can I explain this without sounding like an entitled, ungrateful prick? From Long Distance Drama in Louisiana. So. So. This sucks. You are under the thumb of the man. What can you do to stop this? You can't do anything. The man will keep you down as long as you let him. You must rise up with the power of the sword. Rise against. <laughs> you are powerful. Powerful. <laughs> the people around you are powerful. People. <laughs> Combine that power. Combine it together. Into unadulterated. Say it with me. Rage. rage. <laughs> I didn't know where you were going. I saw an R vowel and I just kind of. <laughs> <with it. laughs> So, uh, Rage Against the Machine, that's what you're saying. Cool band. Yeah, but even cooler premise for this, um, what's the apocalyptic movie you're about to create in real life. Just Rise Against. Mm -hmm. Do the, uh, I want you to go into work and do the, uh, the wanted thing. Uh, I don't actually know how popular that movie was. I just know that I reference it a bunch. (laughs) Um, so it's where, um, oh, what's his name? The guy who plays, uh, the new Charles Xavier. And that is... Sir, no, 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 not him. Uh, the new one. Oh, that's yeah. James McAvoy. James James McAvoy. He's the main character in that, I okay. believe. And uh, Chris Pratt is in that movie, by the way, along with uh, Angelina Jolie, which Whoa. is crazy that people just like miss that movie with like all of these. It's called people Wanted. In it. Yeah, it's called Wanted. Whoa. It's the movie that like curves the bullets. Oh, okay. That's the big thing in that. Yeah. So I've seen that MythBusters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, in the very beginning of the movie, he like quits his job and he goes in and just like wrecks shit and he takes his keyboard from his office job uh picks it up he's carrying it out and chris pratt plays this like kind of asshole guy who's like fucking his girlfriend and uh he's like where are you going he's like yeah like you know go man against the man and uh so james mcavoy takes the keyboard and smashes it against chris pratt's face and then it like flies out and like you can see the keys and it just says fuck you and the you is like his bro oh yeah i've seen that (laughs) and i was like that's what you need to do as you walk out i don't know where you're gonna find a keyboard i don't know where you work you could work in the deli (laughs) section i want you to bring in a keyboard to smash computers everywhere yeah you can figure it out turn on your phone go to the messenger app slap him with the back end of your phone (laughs) slap him with the back end just the, the most pitiful little (laughs) <laughs> exactly i'm out of here i'm gonna go hang out with my boyfriend who i see a couple times a year yeah. excuse me no could you date someone and only see them a couple times a year 
I mean, that's that's the ideal relationship, right? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do in the rest of the time? You you banging hoes. Yes. You going out. She They're not up to my shit. I'm going to be who I want to be. <laughs> uh, we don't endorse that. You should uh, not cheat in relationships. It's a bad thing. But uh, yeah, I, I don't like that's the thing I take away from this. I'm like, all right cool you should definitely talk to someone especially if this job isn't working i know Mm -hmm. you like need work but it's also more important that it fits your schedule if things work out this is that same with the movie thing where it's like it's a Mm -hmm. partnership and usually they come in like we need flexibility from you Mm -hmm. and so you gotta be like i need it back yeah he's like hey i was promised flexibility i promised you guys to be flexible so that just means that you have to try harder on your part though Mm -hmm. because you're gonna end up with shit like you don't want to do But the compromise there is that you get what you want kind of Mm -hmm. in the end. So it's like, oh, you may not have a set schedule, which can be hard on you. It can be annoying. Like Mm -hmm. uh, we both know a little bit about that kind of stuff where it's like, oh, I just want to know the specific days I'm (laughs) going to be working every week because then it's easier to schedule like social life and whatever. Uh Um, But you may not have that. And in return, you get to go and see your boyfriend, you know, the couple times a year that Uh you go and see him. But on the other hand, I don't know that I necessarily agree with, like, dating someone that you only see twice a year. I mean, that's not what they're asking about. I know it's not what they're asking. We give unsolicited advice. I'm trying. I'm giving unsolicited advice. Who are we if we creep in on their personal issues? I don't. We're just two dudes on the internet. They're giving us a window into their life, and we're like, you know what? We're going to open that shit and climb right in. Yeah, I'm just going to push that nice cactus on the floor. (laughs) I'm going to pet your cat, and then I'm going to take the collar off and let it go outside. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm a bad guy. (laughs) Call me Billy Eyelash. (laughs) Gross. Um... I mean, that's just my take on it. You should probably, like, reevaluate that, especially if it's making it hard for you to, like, find jobs and stay employed. And, you know, mm-hmm. there's, like, that give and take where it's like, yes, this person makes me happy beyond belief. But if it's affecting, like, my work, my social mm-hmm. life, that kind of stuff, you should probably take a second look at yeah, it. You maybe, should at least, you know, like, re like, maybe I should be with them instead, you know? Like, yeah. I should go where they are. Yeah, just move there, you know? You know? So. Uh, it's easy. I've yeah. moved a lot. It's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like it's pretty easy to live out of a suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, that's my room. Yeah, it's... Noah and I have lived here for uh, going on seven months now. Uh, he has not unpacked his <laughs> suitcase. Uh, he sleeps on the floor. <laughs> Always the same clothes. I don't yeah. know how he does it. <laughs> it's, it's really crazy. Like, I, I, I see the guy, same clothes every day, smells great. I don't know. I don't get it. He just He's a, he's a good looking dude. Our laundry machines cost like $3 a pop, so like... Our laundry machines are a crime, though. It's, I just want to... bad. Like, I just want to be fully... That's that's something that. I learned is that I'm getting <laughs> gypped on my laundry. Yeah, like they, they they have this app that it's like, oh, yeah, you can put money on it, but you can only put like a minimum of $10 at a time, which, mm-hmm. okay, fine. I, I'd like go and get like a $10 roll of quarters if I was doing laundry anywhere else anyways. Mm-hmm. But the fact that, one, the app doesn't fucking work Because you're the time. in the basement. Yeah, and it's like, oh, I'm sorry. I need connectivity to the internet to be able to do this. It's like, oh, well, the laundry room is under, like, you know, 400,000 pounds I of found out concrete. it's easier to connect to our Wi-Fi than the outside internet. Our Wi-Fi router is three stories above where the basement is. Oh, really? I haven't even tried And that. it's across the room. Are you just, like, holding it up? Yeah, and then I find <laughs> out I connect to our Wi-Fi is what Whoa. ends up happening. Hey, that's pretty cool. Maybe I should put our router on the ground. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, you're like, hey. Hey, Start drilling laundry. holes to our basement or to our <laughs> downstairs neighbors. Yeah. Be like, hey, I'm just trying to get us better signal. So when we uh, do maybe laundry. If I, uh, I have a Wi-Fi ex- range extender. I'll just like start plugging it in in the hallway, like on the <laughs> floor below us. Hey. And then it extends down there. <laughs> and then I'll like start charging a service fee for people. Be like, hey, mm-hmm. like leave a little note. Just be like, hey, everybody. Uh, <laughs> if you're having trouble connecting to Wi-Fi or something and you're down there. I have a Wi-Fi extender. If you send me a text for a low, low cost of two dollars, no, 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 I'll make it one dollar yes. because there's enough people in this building that need to do laundry weekly. I'd say that I could get at least eight dollars a week, <laughs> <laughs> and if I get eight dollars a week and I stole that away, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like a lot of money now. But how many weeks are there in a year, Noah? 52. Exactly. You take 52 times 8, and you have approximately a lot of money. You thought <laughs> I was going to give you a number, but you I, know I, I'm I bad at hoping. math. <laughs> I was hoping. So, but then you reinvest that into more Wi-Fi extenders to the other buildings. Ah, so then you get them too. Exactly. That's We're good. an unstoppable or web Or I could of do internet. it as a subscription-based program, so even if they're not using it, they still have to pay me. <laughs> and then you use the multi-level marketing to get other people to use Wi-Fi extenders for their exactly. apartment complex. Exactly. If everyone else buys Wi-Fi extenders <laughs> and I buy Wi-Fi extenders, then we'll have Wi-Fi everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then I buy out 
at and T. I've created wife. free internet. <laughs> I created the free net. <laughs> Hello, my name is Thomas Middleditch. <laughs> uh, but that's our show for today, guys. Uh, if you guys like it, you should like it and all that shit. And we'll just see you guys next week when we don't help some more people. <laughs> hey, hey, bye. <laughs> bye. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening to this Humorish podcast. You can email your questions to humorish.tm at gmail.com to get on the show. You can also find us on YouTube or on Twitter at humorish underscore TM or use the hashtag IDKTHO. That's the name of the show. The podcast music was Marigolds in May by Jamie Bathgate. Thanks for listening, guys. Mm